All right, doing a little test flight of the Cinelog 35 V2, just arming. Should be interesting in this small space, but let's see how it goes. Um, gonna just kind of cruise around, get a feel for it. I'm flying it on a 6S1550, because that's the only 6S battery I had charged. Um, hear me go by, it's pretty loud, but uh, feels nice. Yeah, looking barrel roll, or whatever you want to call those kind of rolls. Uh, try to go slow here and see if I can uh, fly somewhat controlled with how big this is. So first real quick impressions are it flies really, really nice. Um, the GPS locked on in like, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, first time I've ever been to this park. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously DJI 03 super clear super controllable for me video is so nice and here you can see it's kind of windy Woo! super windy actually but this thing doesn't even notice the wind thanks to its weight and size and power so i usually don't talk while i'm flying it's just kind of awkward actually so might be some pauses in my talking Maybe I'll just do another voiceover or something instead of talking while flying. Um, got eight satellites, and I got those, like I said, really quick, like 15 seconds. Couldn't believe how fast that was. Can I make it through that little opening? What do you guys think? How controllable and smooth this is. Oop, I bumped it. Oh, nope, I did not make it through, but I saved it thanks to the giant oops. That was kind of cool. Let's just see... Got some punch, a little flip. Yeah, as long as I stay on the throttle, not a lot of prop wash or anything like that. Um, a really small park, so I can't really open it up and see how fast it'll go. Um, that'd be kind of cool if I could, but um, yeah, this is really nice. Oh, power lines, stay low. Yeah, this is fun. I'm really liking this. Uh, I got this so I could like maybe do some car chases. Uh, I, I've done a couple and one time I kind of smacked into a car, didn't do any damage thanks to it being with a whoop. But doing stuff like that or I don't know. We'll see what I'll do with it. But it sure is easy to fly and it's really smooth. GFRC knocked it out with this tune, in my opinion. Maybe this is a little bigger and uh, that other hole. Oh yeah, super controllable. Let's see if I can get in one of these trees a little bit, um, even though they're blowing around, to see how easy it is to handle tight spaces. God, I love the O3. Um, let's see. See any openings? There's an opening right here. Look at that. Oh, so easy to fly. My battery light. Yeah, I'm going to do a good quick punch out, even though it's loud. That's a full punch. That was pretty good, huh? Got, got a lot of power, I feel like, for its weight and everything. Luckily, I don't have to carry a uh, GoPro or action camera with it, so that's not bad. I wonder if you can be able to hear how loud it is over my recording, but that's that's how loud it is, if you could hear that. Super maneuverable. Um, yeah, you know what? Can it power loop? Yes, it can. It can power loop. Obviously not over anything but dead air, but it can power loop. Roll. Oh yeah, no issues at all. It doesn't drop out of the sky or anything. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm sure that was loud enough you couldn't hear a word I was saying, but um, yeah, you could feel the wind off of that. When I flew near me, it was, uh, it was like a heavy breeze. So this thing's putting out a lot of air. No breakup behind here at all. 
Um, although, oddly, my ELRS was down like a couple, 99, 98. It's still doing it over here. Could be some interference over here. But my video signal, 50 megabits the entire time. Super controllable, maneuverable. Really, really like this. Um, anyway, so you've been hearing me talk a little bit. So I would say this is a real win for GEPRC. I love how fast the GPS locked on. Makes me want to maybe get a couple of these for um, other quads. Nope. Nope. And nope. Crash. Crash, crash.